Hi everyone, kumusta kayo? And we are back with another skincare routine video. And for this one, ipapakita ko naman sa inyo yung personal nighttime skincare routine ko for 2023. So as you guys know, lagi ako nag-review ng skincare products for you guys. And dahil doon, paiba-iba talaga yung skincare routine ko from time to time. Pero kapag tapos na ako mag-review ng skincare products and let's say parang gusto ko muna i-rest yung skin ko, meron talaga akong parang main routine na binabalik-balikan talaga. And for 2023, ito yung routine. Also, itong routine na to is sort of like an update doon sa night routine ko last year, yung pinost ko na anti-acne night routine. Meron mga products from that routine na same pa rin naman, nandito pa rin siya, pero meron ding ibang mga products na pinalitan ko or binago ko na. The reason being, and lagi ko itong sinishare sa community natin on Facebook as well as sa Instagram, nagpalit kasi ako ng acne medications recently to something stronger. And dahil doon, medyo nag-iba yung skin situation, skin condition, and skin concerns ko. So I will discuss more on that as this video goes on. Pero for now guys, magsimula na muna tayo with our 2023 routine. So ayun nga, as you guys know, lagi ko itong sinishare sa social media. Nagbago na ako ng acne medications this year to something stronger kasi sobrang persistent talaga yung acne ko. Hindi na siya yung parang sobrang dami gaya ng dati pero medyo persistent kasi siya. Earlier last year, parang medyo every week pa rin ako nagkakabagong pimple. And so my derma decided to up my medication to something stronger. And kung last year yung ginagamit ko is yung topical or pamahid na acne medications, specifically tretinoin. This year, oral acne medications na yung ginagamit ko and this is also going to be the first step of my night routine. So specifically guys, ito, this is oral isotretinoin na pinescribe sa akin ng derma ko and I just want to share guys na sobrang laki talaga ng tulong sa akin nito as in sobrang nag-improve yung acne ko this year. Yung dating parang every week or parang two times a week akong nagkaka-acne, ngayon every other two weeks or three weeks na lang. Kaya talaga sobrang happy ako na nireseta to sa akin ng derma ko. And yes, I do want to just emphasize guys na you can only get this by prescription or kung meron kang reseta. And I strongly discourage na bumili kayo ng ganito na walang reseta because napaka-delikado nun sa health niyo guys. Ito kasi guys, hindi lang to basta-basta nila reseta ng dermatologist. Ipapa-blood test ka muna nila to check if eligible or qualified ka na i-take yung medication na to. And yung blood test kasi na yun guys is going to check if okay ba yung liver and yung kidney ninyo and kung kaya ba nila na tinatake nyo yung medication na to. Kaya important na officially dumaan kayo sa derm and officially nireseta nyo sa inyo yung ganitong medication. Kasi kung hindi, kung bumili kayo nito nang hindi kayo nagpa-blood test, sobrang delikado yung liver and yung kidney nyo. And of course guys, ayaw nating mangyari yun. Ayaw nating ma-risk yung health natin. And remember guys, libre lang naman magpakonsulta online sa isang dermatologist sa mga accredited institutions ng Philippine Dermatological Society. Doon mo pwede Pwede kausapin yung dermatologist to see if qualified ka ba sa medication na to. And kung qualified ka naman, libre lang din naman yung reseta na ibibigay nila. And as usual guys, kung gusto nyo mag-avail ng free consultation, lagi ko itong sinishare sa mga videos ko. Meron akong ginawang step-by-step -step guide on how to consult for free and online with a dermatologist from PDS accredited institutions. Pero anyway, ayun nga guys, itutake ko na yung medication na to and I will drink a glass of water after. Meron akong hinanda na nakalapag doon. Click na natin siya. And we're taking off on the water. Alright, so now that I'm done taking my oral acne medication, ilalapag ko lang to, and let's move on to our next step. Alright, so as with every routine, start muna tayo with our cleansing step, and since meron akong tinted sunscreen and konting concealer sa face ko ngayon, we will be double cleansing, and let's start with a balm cleanser. And ang gagamitin kong cleansing balm is from a brand na alam na alam nyo na, this is from the brand Hamish, they're all clean balm. And ako talaga guys, I still stand by my opinion na one of the best ways to really remove your makeup is through a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil. As in for me guys, ha, this is better than using micellar water and definitely better versus using wet wipes. Actually, para sa akin guys, wet wipes aren't even an option at all kasi talaga sobrang no match sila dito sa galing ng pagtanggal ng makeup. Ito kasi guys, sobrang minimal effort lang siya talaga. As in, solid lang siya kapag nilagay mo sa hands and then you just have to melt it. May melt mo siya by rubbing it on your hands together and then it becomes an oil. And then, konting massage mo lang sa face mo. Tingnan nyo ito guys ha, instant 
tunaw talaga yung makeup. As in, cleansing balm superiority talaga. I am team cleansing balm or cleansing oil all the way. Napaka-minimal effort niya talaga. And especially if you're just wearing light makeup, hindi mo na kailangan iswipe ng iswipe ng iswipe. Kasi konting daan mo lang natanggal na eh. And lalo na minsan nagiging sensitive and irritated yung skin ko from my acne medications. Ayoko nang i-irritate siya ng parang pag-rub pa ng pag-rub ng pag-rub ng cotton pad or worse, a wet wipe. Kasi mananotice niya, di ba, pag-rub ka ng rub, namumula talaga siya. Ito tingnan nyo, hindi na i-irritate yung skin ko at all kasi very lightly ko lang siyang minamasage. But anyway, habang chumichika tayo, I'm sure may melted na melted na to lahat. So, I'm just going to wash this off and we can move to our next step. Alright, so binalo ko na yung cleansing balm ko and iniwan ko nang basa yung face ko because cleansing pa rin naman yung next step natin as we move on to our face wash. And itong cleanser na gagamitin ko is one of my favorites of this year. This is also very budget friendly and this is from the brand Dr. Sensitive. This is their tea tree and aloe vera pimple relief serum cleanser. And ito guys, napakita ko na to dun sa best local skincare video ko kasi talaga napakamura nito, this is just at 150 pesos. And ewan ko lang sa inyo guys ha, pero ako talaga, mahilig ako gumamit ng mga cleansers na very accessible lang, yung madali hanapin, para pag naubusan ako, madali siyang i-replenish. And again, ito kasi guys, very similar to doon sa COSRX na cleanser. Of course, if matagal na kayong skincare junkie, you probably know COSRX. Yung low pH cleanser nila, ito talaga very very similar in terms of yung parang feel niya sa face mo. Same gel texture lang din siya, and the best part is, you can get this at all almost like half or even more than half of yung price ng Cosar X. And kapag in-apply natin to sa face natin ng basa, as you can see, sobrang bilis lang talaga niyang mag-lather and mag-foam. Hindi ko alam kung nakalata niyo sa camera. Parang oo naman. And kahit bumubula siya ng ganito, hindi siya parang sobrang drying or stripping sa skin because this does use gentle cleansing agents. And if you do want to see yung review ko nito, I will link yung best local skincare na video ko here. But anyway, okay na to. So, I'm going to wash this off. Alright, so tinatawal, dry ko na lang yung face ko. And now, let's move on to our first active na gagamitin natin. This is the same from last year. And this is going to be our as azelaic acid. And again, as we all know, napakagandang ingredient talaga ng azelaic acid. In fact, naging staple na siya sa routine ko kasi ang dami niya talagang mga benefits on my skin. Unang-una, azelaic acid helps with hyperpigmentation or yung mga dark spots. Pero meron din siyang anti-inflammatory properties to help for yung mga red marks din ng skin natin. Aside from that, kapag 15 to 20% yung kinuha ninyo, like this one that I'm using, nakatulong din siya with acne because at 15 to 20%, napapatay niya rin yung bacteria that causes acne. So itong ginagamit ko, prescribed ulit to by my dermatologist. This is at 20%. Pero kung wala kayong reseta sa derm, meron din namang makukuha ang azelaic acid na over-the-counter at lower percentages. Marami kayong may kitang brands, up to 10% naman yung ginagamit nalang azelaic acid, which is still worth a try. And nakakatulong siya actually also with fading red marks as well as tackling yung mga dark spots ng skin mo. And yung azelaic acid na yun, you can use it with other acne medications na over-the-counter. Like for example, yung ibang mga benzoyl peroxide, yung lower percentages, available yun over-the-counter. And ayan, nag-spread na siya sa face natin. And actually ito guys, I'd also do want to share na medyo binago ko yung paggamit nito. If maalala nyo, dun sa previous routine ko from last year, ginagamit ko to every other night lang, alternating with yung tretinoin ko dati. Pero since nag oral acne medications na ako, hindi na ako pwede mag-tretinoin din na mataas yung percentage because may irritate na sobra yung skin ko. So, merong parang nabakante na space doon sa routine ko every other night. So, ang ginawa ko is inap ko yung azelaic acid ko to every night na siya. And pwedeng-pwede yun. Actually, with azelaic acid, you can use it up to two times a day to really get the results. Pero of course, syempre, make sure na kaya siya ng skin mo. Ako personally, yung kaya ng skin ko is just once a day. So, dun ako nagsistick. Alright, so fully absorbed na si azelaic acid sa skin ko, which means it's time to move to our next step. And ito guys, bagong step ko to na in sa routine ko. And it's going to be my retinal serum. And ayun na nga, I'm sure maraming magtataka and magtatanong kung bakit ako gumagamit ng isa pang vitamin A product kung gumagamit na ako ng oral isotretinoin. So, don't worry guys, let me explain first. Now, tinanong ko kasi yung dermatologist ko about this and in-explain niya sa akin na yung oral isotretinoin, ang pinakatin-target niya talaga sa skin is yung mga receptors niya na related to acne. And if acne lang naman yung goal niyo, then that's perfectly fine. Pero ako kasi guys, 27 na ako and pasimula na ako doon sa late 20s phase ko. So, I thought it's time na i-prioritize ko na yung 
yung pag-reduce ng signs of aging. And dati, yung gamit ko for that was yung tretinoin na topical. Kasi yun, nakatulong din yun in preventing the signs of aging, like fine lines and wrinkles. Pero since ngayon nga, iba na yung tinatake ko, oral acne medications na siya, I decided to include something in my routine that can help tackle yung signs of aging. Pero inisip ko, kailangan gentle pa rin siya sa skin ko para hindi siya mag-cause ng irritation. And so, I found this one to be the most compatible para sa skin situation ko. And this one that I'm using is from the brand Beauty of Joson. This is their Revive Eye Serum Ginseng Plus Retinol. And yes, this does say eye serum, pero nagagamit ko to for my entire face. And actually, sobrang perfect fit siya kasi gentle na gentle lang talaga siya. And this does not cause any irritation sa skin ko. Now ito guys, this has just 0.02% retinol which is again perfect for the eye area or perfect for those na beginners pa lang. And additionally, meron din tong niacinamide which as we all know helps the skin tolerate yung mga ingredients like retinol or retinol because it also helps repair and nourish our skin barrier. And at the same time, both retinol and niacinamide also tackle yung iba ko pang mga concerns. Like for example, minsan may mga red marks ako minsan nagiging dark spot sila. And of course, yung main concern ko, which is in nga, preventing the signs of aging. And the best part about this is, nalalagay ko siya sa eye area ko without it being irritated. As in, super duper love it. Especially if you want to prevent yung parang crow's feet na nagpo-form dito as you get older. That really helps with that too. And as well as yung genetic ko na dark marks. Of course, mahirap yung tanggalin with just this one. But hopefully, makatulong din siya in helping, you know, reduce the appearance of it. And as you might have noticed, guys, ito mabilis lang talaga siya mag-absorb sa skin. It feels creamy at first, pero it sinks in very, very easily onto your skin. And it feels very, very comfortable. And what I love about this is, hindi rin to kamahalan for a retinal serum. Usually, ibang mga retinal serums kasi parang 1,000 plus na. Ito, around mga 700 plus lang if I'm not mistaken. And so, not bad already. Alright, and now na tapos na tayo gumamit ng retinol or retinol rather sa routine. Of course, kung merong retinol or retinol sa isang skincare routine, andito rin ang best friend or mga best friends niya. And that is of course going to be your moisturizers. Now, sa mga hindi pa nanonood ng content ko, don't worry, hindi ko ginagamit tong lahat. Pumipili lang ako ng isa sa tatlong mga to. But I just wanted to show all three of these to you guys because ito yung top three moisturizers ko as of this moment. So start muna tayo with these two. I'm sure very familiar na to sa inyo because I already mentioned these sa best light cream moisturizers video ko. So the first one here, ito yung top option ko doon sa video na yun kung marami kayong budget. This is the La Roche-Posay Tolerian Double Repair Face Moisturizer. Again, gaya nga nang sabi ko sa video na yun, kung meron kayong budget, A plus moisturizer. And kung di ko alam kung merong mga nanonood na OFW dito, kung malapit kayo sa Europe, bili nyo na to. Napakamura ng ganito doon sa Europe. Ano ba? Ang daya, no? Wow. And actually, this one, guys, I can also easily recommend it to even oily skin types na gusto ng creamier moisturizer na ginagamit as a night cream. Especially kapag gumagamit kayo ng acne medications like me, nung oily skin ako talaga, hirap na hirap ako maghanap ng creamy moisturizer na hindi mabigat. And I wish ito yung ginamit ko at that time, pero at that time, hindi rin marami yung pera ko. So, okay, fine. But for those na hindi afford yung La Roche-Posay, we have ito, one of the most affordable options naman. This is from the brand Avino. Very, very reliable itong daily moisturizing lotion. Nila. And yes, this is a lotion that you can use on the body, pero pwede mo rin ito gamitin sa face. And napaka-reliable talaga nito, guys. This really helps soothe my skin kapag na-irritate siya. And a lot of you guys na oily skin, again, lagi nyo sinasabi sa comments, you really love to use this kahit medyo creamy siya because it sinks in onto your skin very easily. So itong dalawa, nabigyan ko na ito ng in-depth review. So I want to show you ito namang pangatlo kong option, which I am going to use for this video. This is the Mentholatum Acne Oil Control Moisture. Actually, ito guys, medyo latter part of the year ko na siya na-discover and na-appreciate. Pero, this is definitely going to be one of those moisturizers na targeted talaga for those na merong acne-prone skin or gumagamit ng acne medications and naghahanap ng medyo creamier na moisturizer to prevent dryness and irritation. As in, ako talaga guys, I feel that oily skin types will really appreciate this kasi kahit na cream yung texture niya, this blends onto the skin really, really easily. So, nagpampak ko ng dalawa and papakita ko sa inyo 
how fast this blends onto my skin. So, maglalagay lang ako sa parts of my face that get irritated and dry because of my acne meds. And the same pa rin, itong part ng face ko pa rin yung usually na nagiging irritated and dry from my acne medications. So, yun yung lalagyan ko. Pero actually, dahil confident din ako sa moisturizer na to, maglalagay na rin ako sa forehead ko. So, basically, the entire face na. <laughs> so, yan. Naglagay na ako ng 2 pumps worth of moisturizer. And tingnan nyo how this easily sinks onto my skin. As in, grabe. Eh, no? Konting rub ko lang na wala na siya agad onto a very natural finish. And ingredients-wise, aside from yung magandang blend niya of moisturizing ingredients that help keep it lightweight, this also has a lot of soothing ingredients. Meron tong aloe extract, chamomile extract, also betaine. And this also has the very, very popular centella asiatica extract, also known as sika. And it also has yung three components nito that help make it soothing sa skin which are asiaticoside, asiatic acid, and madicasic acid. And also, very interestingly, this also does have BHA or salicylic acid and I know, huwag kayo magpanic. Alam ko, gumamit ako ng retinol sa routine ko. Based on yung sa ingredients list nila, yung amount na salicylic acid na nasa moisturizer na to is probably very, very small. So, it's not going to be enough to exfoliate our skin. So, hindi siya may irritate in that way. In fact, BHA or salicylic acid, very, very small amounts can still be very beneficial in moisturizers kasi meron pa rin siyang anti-inflammatory properties. So don't worry guys, yung small amount na yun is unlikely to cause irritation at least sa skin ko kasi medyo matagal ko na rin ginagamit yung routine na to and hindi naman siya naging irritated. Alright, so as you can see, fully blended na yung moisturizer sa skin ko and actually medyo kanina pa siya fully blended talaga. But now natapos na tayo sa moisturizer step, dati gumagamit pa ako ng mga spot treatments on my face kapag meron akong active pimples. Pero ayun nga, because of my acne medication, sobrang hindi na ako madalas magkaroon ng pimple talaga. If ever, sobrang liit na lang. Tapos nilalagyan ko na lang siya ng acne patch. Pero kapag kailangan ko mag-spot treat ng pimples talaga, syempre yung go-to ko pa rin is the same pa rin doon sa previous routine ko, either yung Oxycure na spot treatment or yung Bioderm. But anyway, ayun siya guys. And again, reminder lang, kung may gusto kayong tingnan na any product na minention ko sa video na to, again, para hindi na kayo mahirapan, nilagay ko na lahat ng mga product links in the description box. Check it out there. Let me know as well in the comments kung meron kayong similar products na ginagamit sa akin sa mga routines ninyo. Let's share our experiences in the comments below. And if you did find this video helpful, please do leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. And as always guys, I will see you in the next video and I'm wishing you all healthy skin this 2023. Bye! Ano bang ASMR ko? Naririnig doon ba yung pangulunok ko? Charot! <laughs>